Hello everyone, it's great to be with you today. I am excited to just share from my favorite Psalm, and that's 139. You know, we've all had a disruption to our schedules, and with that, it's normal that anxiety accompanies any change of schedule, and then you add social distancing and all the other things that have come um, with this pandemic. And so it's normal for us to feel anxious. And so I was struggling the other day and the Lord reminded me of my favorite verse in 139 and that's verse 23. And I, I'm gonna read from the Passion Translation. I found um, some new meanings as I reached out and read this with the Lord the other day. So I wanna read this with you. God, I invite your searching gaze into my heart. Examine me through and through. Find out everything that may be hidden within me. Put me to the test and sift through all my anxious cares. See if there is any path of pain I'm walking on and lead me back to your glorious everlasting ways, the path that brings me back to you. So as I was reading this in this version, I loved that Dr. Simmons in this play, in this in this translation, points out the path of pain. Because honestly, as I was looking at, asked and invited Holy Spirit to search me. Sure enough, He showed me I was feeling what I was feeling because there was some pain attached to it, and so this scripture really encourages me. I hope that it encourages you in that it doesn't say you have to figure out what's happening in your own heart. It literally just says, all we have to do is issue the, the invitation to be searched. Search me, O oh Lord. And then it's Holy Spirit's job to do the searching. And then it even says, He's gonna be the one that leads us back. I love that it says lead, it doesn't say call. I'm gonna call you back, hope you hear my voice. I'm gonna push you back, I'm gonna drag you back. No, I'm gonna lead you, which means I'm actually right here with you. He has to be right here next to us if he's gonna lead us. And so I wanna encourage you that if you're feeling any kind of anxiety in any way, to just call out to him, he will be faithful to show you where he is, to point out if there's any pain attached. If you're on a path that um, is not a pathway to life, it's going to be his job to lead you back to that path. I know way back when I wouldn't have always known, um, I wouldn't have always felt safe to ask him to search me because I didn't know him as a good God. But if we go back to the beginning of Psalm 139, I want to read verses 1 through 5. Um, it just assures us that he's fully aware of who we are. So beginning in verse 1, Lord, you know everything there is to know about me. You've examined my innermost being with your loving gaze. You perceive every movement of my heart and soul and understand my every thought before it even enters my mind. You are so intimately aware of me, Lord. You read my heart like an open book and you know all the words I'm about to speak before I even start a sentence. You know every step I will take before my journey even begins. I love that. He even knows if we're going to express our anxious thoughts before we know we're gonna express our anxious thoughts. That's how intimately he is aware and knows us. I find great comfort to know I don't have to feel any shame in any way when I feel anxiety. It's really safe. I'm not gonna feel shame. I can feel what's happening. I can ask him to come get me. Going on, this is my favorite verse right here. I'd never seen this before. Verse five, you've gone into my future to prepare the way. Oh my gosh, we don't have to be afraid of tomorrow. We don't have to be afraid or anxious as to how long this is gonna last because he's actually already gone into our future to prepare the way. Going on, and in kindness you follow behind me to spare me from the harm of my past. Isn't he kind? He's just so kind. So I bless you today to know there's no shame in feeling what you might be feeling, but I encourage you to just ask him to search you. 
if you're having any kind of problems. It's his job to do the leading. I pray you have an awesome day. I look forward to the time that we can be together.